My entire family, they're all from the backside of the racetrack. They were all grooms and hot walkers, people who just worked their entire careers as laborers. This is my favorite one. That's my favorite. When she was 16 years old, Tammy Bobo set out on her own in the family business, working as a groom. At 17, she got pregnant, and working with horses became a means to provide for her daughter. My mom worked very hard when I was growing up. There was nothing fancy or glamorous about it. She was just a working class person, making sure that ends were met and food was on the table. I cleaned stalls, I rode horses, I broke horses. I did whatever I had to do to get a paycheck. And that's what I did for years, and then started buying sale barn horses. Early on, Bobo made a business of attending auctions and buying cheap horses that others passed over, identifying those she could help and selling them for a modest profit. They're like humans. We're not perfect, and neither are they. And if you feel that that horse can overcome that imperfection, give that horse a shot. Now, all these years after her modest beginnings, Bobo's gone from the backside to the derby owner's box, her eye for hidden talent coming full circle with simplification. What Bobo recognized in him that everyone else overlooked has given her the opportunity of a lifetime and a moment to cherish with her daughter and grandchildren. For me to be able to share my life today, I wish I had that to share with my daughter, but she saw all the anguish and hard work. Brielle and Brock are reaping some of the benefits of the hard work. So it's important to me to instill in both of them that you don't get to where I am today without that hard work. Come on, let's help feed so we can get done. Come on, because we're late today. Come on, let's help feed. It's anyone's game. I've always been a dreamer. I never knew if I'd get there, but I never stopped dreaming.